Gilby is a curious puppy who loves to fetch answers to your questions. He lives at the fire station with his best friend, Miss Kathy. What will Gilby discover today? Come on, let's find out. Captain Gilby, what are your orders? We have no choice. We should keep going until we find the Lost Island. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, Captain Gilby, sir, I believe we have visitors aboard. Really? Oh, hi, how are you today? We're playing a game. Can you guess what it is? Right, we're pretending that we're sailing on a big boat and we're looking for the lost island. Dun, dun, dun! I'm the captain and Miss Kathy is the first mate. Arg! Would you like to play too? That's Wagawific! Captain Gilby, someone else is coming aboard and he's approaching at a very fast speed. Message for Gilby, message for Gilby, message for Gilby! Andy! What are you playing? We're pretending we're on a big boat. I'm Captain Gilby, and that's first mate, Miss Kathy. Arrgh! And we're searching for the lost island. Dun, dun, dun! What's the blanket for? That's our sail. It catches the wind for us. I caught something else for you. A question. A question? What is it? The question is... Hi, Gilby. What can you do with the boat? Wagga, wagga, wow! That's a great question. We were just pretending we were on a boat. And now you can find out new things about boats. Find out, find out, find out. What about our game? Don't worry, Captain Gilby, sir. I'll keep the boat safe until you return. I can help, too. Thanks, first mate, Miss Kathy. And thanks, Andy. Captain Gilby, are you ready to fetch the answer? There is a question. Don't know the answer yet. Gilby, find out. Gilby, find out. Gilby, go fetch. Go fetch! Gilby, wait! Carlita? Above you, Gilby. Where? Up here, Gilby. Oh, hi, Carlita. Buenos dias, Gilby. Where are you going? I'm going to see Nana so I can fetch the answer. Bueno. Well, don't forget, Gilby. Today's number is... Five. Five boats. What can you do with a boat? Gilby is trying to find the answer. 
Now he's going to the market to see his friend Nana. She is very smart, and maybe she can help. Come on, let's find out. Hello, Nana. Oh, hello, Gilby. I'm not Gilby today, Nana. I am Captain Gilby. Oh, Captain Gilby, of course. And what are you, the captain of Captain Gilby? A big boat. Miss Kathy is the first mate, and we're searching for the lost island. Dun dun dun! Oh, that sounds very exciting. It is. You know, when I was a young girl, <laughs> I used to pretend that I was a pirate. A pirate? Arg! My name was Fanny Nanny, and I searched the seven. Seas for secret hidden treasure. Ooh. Did you ever find any secret hidden treasure? Ooh. Never. But I was quite the scallywag. <laughs> Arg! Now what brings you here to Fanny Nanny's grocery, Captain Gilby? I have a question. Great. What is your question? What can you do with a boat? Hmm. I can think of something. Come here and look into my soup. Now watch what happens when I put the soup crackers into the soup. Now what are the crackers doing? They're floating. Oh, very good. Now I want you to imagine that the soup is the ocean, and the soup crackers are the boats. Can you do that? Yes. Oh, good. Now. What are the boats doing in the ocean? They're floating. Oh, excellent! Boats float. Boats float. Oh, that's their most important job. If a boat doesn't float, it isn't a boat. Wagga! Wow! Thanks, Nana. Oh, you're very welcome, Captain Gilby. I hope you find your secret hidden treasure. Ooh! Well, who needs gold or silver or diamonds too? When I have a special treasure like you. Wagga! Wow! You should learn more about boats. There's always so much to learn. That's right, Nana. I need more answers. I know where to look. At the library in a book. There is a question. Don't know the answer yet. You'll be find the answer. You'll be go fetch. Go fetch. Happy sailing, Captain. We'll be back with more Ask Gilby right after this. Welcome back to Ask Gilby. What can you do with a bow? Gilby is trying to find the answer. Now he's going to the library to see his friend Miss Isabel. She loves to read, and maybe she can help. Come on, let's find out. Hello, Miss Isabel. Hello, Gilby. Oh, I'm not Gilby today, Miss Isabel. Today I'm Captain Gilby. Well, ahoy there, Captain Gilby. Uh. What does ahoy mean? Ahoy is a word that sailors use to call to one another. It means something like hello. Oh, ahoy, Miss Isabel. What are you reading? I'm planning my next vacation, and this is a travel book all about the Caribbean islands where pirates used to sail. I just love reading about pirate adventures. Nana used to pretend she was a pirate named Fanny Nanny, and she searched the seven seas for the secret hidden treasure. Ooh! Did she ever find it? No. But she helped me with my question. Excellent. What is your question, Captain Gilby? What can you do with a boat? And Nana taught me boats float. Can you think of anything else? Sure. 
Let's look for a book to find out. This, Captain Gilby, is a book all about boats. You know, boats come in all kinds of sizes, like this little boat. We call it a rowboat. What are those poles on the side? Those are called oars. We use them to help the boat move in water. And then there are these big boats. We call this big boat a sailboat. It catches the wind in its big sails, and that's how it moves. Miss Kathy made a sail for our boat at the fire station. And then there are these very big boats. This very big boat is called a cruise ship. It's so big! It can carry lots and lots of people, so it needs very big motors to help it move. So boats are little, big, and bigger! That's right, Captain Gilby. But no matter what the size, each boat has the same job. Can you tell me what that is? They float! Yes, they float! And what do they do when they float? They go somewhere? Yes, they travel. You can travel in a boat. Wago, wow! Boats float and travel too. There's lots of things that boats can do. Thanks for helping me, Miss Isabel. Anytime, Captain Gilby. Seems like you're almost done with your fetching. Yes, but I need a few more answers. Find the answers, that's the rule, and we find answers at our school. There is a question. Don't know the answer yet. You be find the answer, you be go fetch. Bye bye, Miss Izzy Bell. Bye, Gilby. Go fetch. Wait! Carlita? Where? Over here! Next to the tree! Now where are you going, mi amigo? I'm going to fetch the answer! Oh! Here we go! Today's color is... Brown! My dad. He's getting the boat ready so we can go out on the water. Dad's helping me put my life jacket on so we can be safe. fishing basket. Maybe I can catch some fish. No fish yet. It's fun being in the boat. My grandpa is good staring in the boat. Hey, there's my dad and my little brother. Look, Daddy and Kobe are in the water. Grandpa is allowing me to steer the boat. Turn, 
This is so cool. Beautiful. What? Yeah, it's animal tree. Good job, Brady. Good job, Brady. Good job. <laughs> right there. There is, there is <laughs> Yeah, there's a Go back to the shore. Uh, land ho, land ho, bring land ho. No blanket, y'all. No. Please go take it. I had fun. Now it's time to go home. Bye. We'll be back with more Ask Gilby right after this. Welcome back to Ask Gilby. What can you do with a boat? Gilby is trying to find the answer. Now he's going to school to see his friend, Mr. Nick. He's a teacher, and maybe he can help. Come on, let's find out. Hi, Mr. Nick. Goodness gracious, it's Gilby. How in the world are you? I'm great. What are you wearing on your head, Mr. Nick? Oh, very good, my curious little canine. You noticed this is my special hat. Yes, today I am not Mr. Nick, your normal everyday school teacher. Oh, no, no, no. Today I am Explorer Guy, finder of new and exciting things. No jungle is too thick, no ocean too deep, no mountain is too high for Explorer Guy. Can Explorer Guy help me find an answer to my question? Absolutely! That's what Explorer Guy likes to do best. What's your question? What can you do with a boat? I know that you can float with a boat and you can travel with a boat. But is there anything else you can do with a boat? Is there anything else you can do with a boat? Absolutely, absolutely! Wait, stop. Reverse that. Absolutely, positively, there is something else you can do with a boat. You can explore with a boat. Ooh. Explore? That's right. Picture, if you will, the long and wide Amazon River deep in the heart of the mysterious rainforests where there's terrific treasure everywhere to be found. Bright, beautiful, bellowing birds itty-bitty little insects, fast and furiously swimming fish. And how will you explore these wonders? Why, on the safety of your trusty boat, of course. <laughs> Boats are perfect for exploring the rivers. In fact, for the Amazon River, they're just dandy. I can't wait to tell Miss Kathy. Oh, and don't forget about your little bug friend, Andy, too. I won't. And now, I'm off to the Congo. Bye, Mr. Ni- Uh, I mean, Explorer Guy. I have the answers I was looking for. Now I'll take them home to my front door. Wait! Carlita? Down here! Hi, Carlita! Hola, Gilby! Now where are you going? 
I'm going home. Bueno. Well, don't forget, Gilby. Today's letters are... F and H. Knock, knock. Who's there? Canoe. Canoe who? Can you come out and play? Ah. G. Fog. Hello. Today I will paint what this word says. F. Ah. G. F. Ah. G. F. Ah. G. Aha! I will paint some fog. It is beautiful. F -a -g. Fog. <coughs> Ahoy! I'm back! Captain Gilby! Answers, answers, answers! Did you find any? I did! Listen to this. With a boat, you can float, you can travel, and you can explore! Float, travel, and explore. And you know, there's one thing more. What? You can have fun with a boat. Come on, Captain Gilby. We still haven't found the lost island. Dun, dun, dun! Wagga, wagga, wow. Wagga, wagga, wow. Gilby found the answer. Woof, woof, bow, wow. Took time to find the answer, but we never had a doubt. With help from his friends, Gilby, Gilby found out. Way to go, Gilby! Raise the sails, first mate, Miss Kathy. Let's go! Goodbye, everyone! If you want to get the facts, but you don't know who to ask, To ask Gilby a question, go to AskGilby.com or call Gilby at 877-ASK-GILBY. Remember to ask your parents for permission.